What is up guys? Welcome to your sixth JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called functions. Now a function is basically a mini program. It's a mini program that you can use anytime you want throughout your JavaScripting. For example, if you're making YouTube they probably have a function to play the video whenever you hit the play button. They have a function to pause the video whenever you hit the pause button. They have a function, a function to add a vote to the thumbs up whenever you click the thumbs up button. So as you can see, a function can be called not only as soon as the web page loads, but it can be called anytime you want. So let's go ahead and make a function right now. In order to make a function, you first type the name, well let's give us some space. Type the name function. This tells JavaScript, all right, we're about to make a function. Now after this, you give a name to your function. I'm going to name mine funky because this function is funky. Now after this, you add two little parentheses. I'm not going to be talking about these yet, but these are called your parameters. So we'll just ignore these for now until the next tutorial. And then after these, you add two little curly braces. Now inside the curly braces is where you're going to be putting all of your JavaScript code. All of the code you put in here, all the statements, is the code that it's going to run whenever you want to use your function. So if you're making that YouTube page, whenever they clicked the play button, you would play the video now. So anyways, you can see that this is the code that we want to happen whenever they call that function, aka whenever the user wants to use that function. So let's go ahead and in our function, we'll make it do something really simple. Let's go ahead and make a pop-up appear on our screen. So making pop-ups is really easy in JavaScript. All you need to do is write the name alert and this means make pop-up on the screen. Now inside the parentheses for this, you write what you want to appear in the box. So just go ahead and write like, ouch, or something like that. Now whenever this function is used, a pop-up is gonna appear on our screen and it's gonna say, ouch. So let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and use the function right now. So in order to use a function, you go ahead and write the name of your function funky and then you go ahead and write those parentheses which we don't know what they do yet but we'll be learning that in the next tutorial and then since this is a statement we go ahead and end it with a semicolon so anyways our, our JavaScript is gonna say alright we have a function right here prepare to use it whenever we call it so right here is when we call it and by the way like I said anytime I say call a function I mean use a function calling a function is just a technical term so use my function so it's gonna say alright call funky now so a pop-up is gonna appear so let's go ahead and save this and see this baby in action as soon as we load our page it's gonna call it bam look at that a pop-up appear and it said ouch so let's go ahead and um maybe it will be easier to see if I actually add a button on the screen so you guys can see functions don't need to happen as soon as you load your page but whenever you need to call them so let's go ahead instead of just calling it right away, right away like right then let's go ahead and add a form on our page because if we add a form we can go ahead and add buttons so actually we need to do that outside the JavaScript since it isn't actually part of JavaScript, it's actually part of XHTML. So go ahead and add a form and, and your form right here. And inside your form, you're only going to have one element, the input. And by the way, if you have no idea what I'm doing right now, go ahead and watch my XHTML tutorials. I talk all about forms and stuff like that. So the input, the type of this is button. It's just going to appear as a button on your screen. The value is what you want to say on the button, and we'll just write touch me and there is another parameter that you can add to your buttons and that's on click and inside or the value for on click you go ahead and you write the name of your JavaScript function and I'm just gonna go ahead and write funky because that's the name of the function so anyways check this out if we go ahead and save this and launch it in Chrome we go ahead and we have a button on the screen that says touch me that's by default what's loaded on our web page but you can see we added an attribute to this function or excuse me this button called on click funky that means whenever we click this button we want you to use a JavaScript function called funky so whenever we click this button an alert box is gonna pop up that says ouch 
So let's go ahead and click this button and we see the alert box pops up and it says ouch. Press OK and that's it. So that is the beauty of you know not only how to make buttons but also how you can call a section of JavaScript by using something called functions. So anyways by default your web page loaded and it loaded this form with a button on it. By default it did nothing but whenever we clicked it it said alright whenever you click me I'm gonna call this function called funky so that means I'm gonna go back up here and do whatever you told me to do inside. So by the way the line of code inside your curly bracket is called the declaration. Some people call it the body, but I just call it whatever codes inside your curly bracket. And that is the basics of how to create a function. Just go ahead and write the name function, the name, parentheses, curly brackets, and write your rules inside your function. And also how to call a function whenever you want using a button, or you can just call it automatically by writing the name of the function. But anyways, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys what these parentheses are and why they are useful and why most functions actually use those parentheses. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Thank you for learning the basics of a function. If you don't quite understand, just stick with me in the next tutorial. Everything will clear up for you. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.